Hi, my name's Tom, and I just want to have a really quick update on the shift cable resolution for a 2018 John Deere XUV 590i. So just a little backstory, I had a 2015 an XUV 550 S4, and the S4 is a four-seater instead of a two-seater. Not too long after I bought the S4, the shift cable broke, and John Deere fixed it under warranty. And then not too long after that, the shift cable broke again. And then not too long after that, the whole clutch housing and the whole shebang, the shift, sh the shifting mechanism just fell off the back of the, the gator. 2018, they assured me that the shift cable resolution was in place and it wasn't going to happen again. Well, lo and behold, I didn't even have it another year. And with this brand new gator, same thing happened. I brought it back to the dealership, they replaced it under warranty, and I babied it. I, you know, I'm not out here hammering on it, I'm not hitting the trails. I use it primarily on the farm, just hauling stuff around, and I, I'm pretty gentle on it. So when I broke the second time, I said, man, this is really getting old. This is really my sixth shift cable, and I, I don't remember which John Deere dealership it was. I watched one of their videos on YouTube, and I made a comment about, you know, the Gator, the motor's good, it rides good. I like just about everything about it except for this one thing that keeps happening with my gators and it's the shift cable keeps breaking. The shift cable on these gators went down in here, right in the back. I've got it open and it came from the front, the shifters, and it ran underneath and it, it hooked down in here. Now I'll give you a little bit better view of that here in a second. But anyway, this John Deere dealer said they had a resolution for it, and the, the problem was fixed, and he assured me that uh, that wasn't ever going to happen again. I said, okay, that sounds cool. So, again, I, I, my Gator was at the John Deere dealership. They were, they were getting ready to fix it, and I said, hey, you know, this John Deere dealer online told me that there was a resolution that John Deere finally back-engineered this thing to, to stop being broken. And they found it, and it's it's called Solution 115052, for those of you who are experiencing this issue. What it does is it replaces the shift cable with a single shift cable. or sing It's not even a cable, really, and I'll show you that here in a second. The original cable was like an aircraft cable. It was probably, I don't know, 3 16 cable, maybe. And on the end was this little pot metal hook, and that would hook onto your, end of your shifter on one side and the transmission on the other. And I did fix it myself one time, and you pretty much have to be a circus freak to get in there and do it and be a contortionist. And I couldn't walk for two days, so after that I just started taking it back to the dealer and having them fix it. So I brought the gator in, shift cable broken again, repeating problem. They found this solution, 115052. And so twin shift cable problems only on model year 2017 and prior XUV 500 series. So that would have been my 550 and now my 590 problem or situation depending upon uses either shift cables may fail either of the shift cables so there was one here and one here so I never had an issue with the the four-wheel drive two-wheel drive one it was always this one so the, the gator only gets like a one-year warranty on it when you buy a new gator and it's probably because people beat the snot out of them I don't beat the snot out of mine but it doesn't matter the warranty was only a year so I was able to get John Deere to pay one third of the repair bill and the dealership paid one third and my total cost was 400 bucks to repair to get this stupid gator fixed. Can you imagine if I had to pay that by myself after and it's not even an abusive issue it's just a design flaw but John Deere wanted well they didn't they didn't make me pay the whole thing but can you imagine if they did make me pay the whole thing I would never buy another gator I'd never buy another John Deere anything so, I mean, at least they did go to bat and they paid two-thirds of the problem. But it's probably like a $40 cable and it cost $1,200 to put it in. But I, I know the labor. I, know, I did it myself once and it's, it's ridiculous how hard it is to change that cable out. It, it's all like clipped up underneath the, the seats and the floorboards and the dash. And you really, it hurts after you're done. So, it's, it, it goes good and... I'm happy with it for the most part, but uh, anyway, I don't want to run on and run on and on, run on. I'm just telling you, there is a solution. If those of you who have this problem, the Gator shift cable, it's a 2017 year and below. And I bought this in 2018, so it would have been a, it would have been a leftover apparently. But it's 115052, so if, if you've got this issue with your Gator, 
talk to your dealership and, and tell them there is a solution out there that John Deere has and they can fix it. And hopefully they don't make you pay the whole thing because it's a lot of money on something that is a design. So here's underneath and this is that new shift cable right here. It's really, uh, it's probably I'd say half inch thick on the outside and then you can see it kind of telescopes here and then and it's got like a tie rod kind of end on the on it there. You can see that. So this right here is your clutch and then right there is where it attaches. One of the issues they had on the, the prior year model Gators too, the, the XUV 550s and such, is they would get water in the clutch and then it would freeze or just expand and, and it was a disaster. I don't know who had designed that, but the clutch would literally fall off and I can see the new one's got a rubber gasket up here that goes all the way across and so it sets tight here and that probably keeps most of the water off it and you got the shield on the side here. So, I mean, you don't want to go driving this thing through a brook. And, and I have gone through water, but it's only, you know, a foot deep or so. So just be careful when you're, you're using your gator that you don't use it for a fish because it, it's just not designed for it and it, it won't take it. On a side note, though, I have these vintage John Deere mud flaps and I bought them in the late 80s. I saw a set of those go for sale. They were in new world stock, but they went on the John Deere auction site on Facebook and somebody paid over $200. For a set of new old stock one of those so if you got a set of those antique john deere mud flaps you could probably make a couple bucks but anyway i hope that this can solve some of your problems if you do have gator issues thank you for watching if you haven't already please take a moment and subscribe to the channel we do do a lot of testing out of some new equipment and we have a small farm so we do have animals and, and a lot of stuff thanks for watching and I'll, I'll talk to you next time